All right, I got this little bar tacked in place here that's just gonna add a little more structure to my engine mounting plate. So the plate will sit basically on top of that bar and I'll weld them together uh, later on. I'm gonna toss the axle that's sitting over there, toss that back on here and get to work figuring out bracketry for mounting this brake caliper. All right, so we were uh, thinking about bracketry and support for this caliper for a while here. And what we ended up figuring out uh, is that just if we have the caliper mounted vertically, so it'll slide down here vertically, but it'll encapsulate the rotor. If we just have it held vertically and we space it so that it's um, centered on the axle, so that it's centered on the rotor in the vertical axis, a piece of one inch tubing works perfectly as a spacer there between this cross member and the bracket for the caliper. So we're just gonna make a piece of one inch tubing that'll sit flush with the top of this cross member and it'll go down and it'll have two bolt holes drilled in it for the two bolt holes on the bracket. And yeah. Um, that should work pretty well and hopefully it, it should be plenty strong. All right, so I got a couple of holes drilled in this piece and they line up pretty darn good with the bracket. So. Yep, that's cool. Um, I think our next step here is going to be cutting this piece to length, capping the end of it, and then we'll tack it up to the frame. All right, y'all. So we ended up having some issues with our uh, initial plan here. So I got the piece drilled and shoved a bolt in there. And when I went to fit it up, I realized that, well, the bolt head doesn't clear the bottom edge of the tube when top surface is sitting flush with the frame and I was thinking well we could just slide it down a little bit and have it like that so that the bolt clears but then I realized the bolts are drilled so that when the tube sits flush with the top of the frame the bolts hold the caliper in the right position on the rotor here so if we slide it down that fitment is going to be all off so yeah uh we got some figuring to do. Got to figure out what we can do to make this work instead. All right, so after quite a bit of work, this is what we ended up coming up with. We got the top bolt. We ended up just cutting the head off and welding it into the tube and then grinding it flat. And then the bottom one, since we didn't have a clearance issue, we ended up just doing what we were originally planning to do and just bolting it up to the tube like so. And yeah, so... Got that finished up now, the caliper slides in there nicely, and now we need to bolt this piece, or uh, weld this piece up to the frame. All right, I got quite the fixture set up here, but somewhere between all those clamps, there it is, there's my piece that I'm actually gonna weld. Um, but yeah, I think I've got it all clamped into place and leveled out, and it's time to buzz this thing. Sweet, tack it in place. Sweet, we're tacked. All right, so I got the axle tossed back up in place. I just had the engine plate uh, clamped up here to simulate what it's gonna be like to get the axle back on with one that plate's there too, just to make sure that everything cleared. We had to uh, loosen up one lock collar uh, to give us a little bit of play when trying to get the um, rotor sandwiched in the caliper. But besides that, it could have been a lot worse. So pretty happy. That is pretty sweet. And, you know, things are starting to come together here. So clamp the engine place in place where we're gonna weld it later and line it up so that 
the engine and the clutch, the teeth on the clutch line up with the teeth on the sprocket are good. And then kind of marked out in the layout that we're going to have in the engine plate, we're going to have slots so that we can position the engine to adjust the chain tension, tension a little bit. The chain tension. Blah. English is hard sometimes. Um, so, yeah, we we're going to have slots there and there. But I'm going to start by drilling holes out at these points and then probably angle grinder to widen the slots out and then, I don't know, probably have to clean it up with the drill bit some at the end, but that's the plan, so we're gonna get after it. So we got the plate slotted, tossed the engine back up on it. Still just clamped in place, we still gotta tack it down. But we decided to toss the chain up on it. And it looks pretty legit. So, starting to come together. So I cleaned up the welds on this piece here and now I got the engine plate clamped back into place and time to tack it down.